Hi guys, Wacko here. So uh, hopefully you haven't got any bleeding eardrums as people keep complaining. Good, I like to make your eardrums bleed. Right, I did a... well I released this map, but what it didn't have was this little column here. This column is my destructible dynamic brush models. And I didn't mean to click on that. And I've gone out of the skybox. Bloody hell. Um, oh yeah, I really should move that away. But anyway. So... These blocks are individual brush models that have different health. So I've just shot that one, it's also got physics on it. Shoot it again. Third time, it blows up. Now the bottom one, it only has one health. Blows up. I'm going to show you how all this works momentarily. Uh, there is a downside to anything that is dy a dynamic brush model or a dynamic model. You can walk through them. There is no clipping. If you want clipping, you can't use dynamic uh, brush models or models. Uh, but that's not a problem, you could script it, so, or you could just draw a clip brush, whatever you want. You've got to think how you're going to place these and do it. Now I have also put some breakable glass in here. You might be able to just see there's a bit of a window effect going there. So if I shoot this area... There we go, glass is broken. Uh, you'll also see um, we have here uh, a blind. And you're thinking, why am I shooting this blind? Well, I want it to look like that. But obviously I want it to damage, so let's throw a grenade in here and see what happens. Apart from nearly killing myself, uh, here we have a damaged blind. So how do we do all this? Quite simple, this is really, really easy. So I'm going to come out of the game. Uh, we're going to wing along to the editor. And uh, first we'll go to uh, the little exploding blocks. So here we have a block. Uh, if I select it, You'll notice it says uh, die in a brush model. If I press N for November, uh, and we drag this out a bit, it is a dynamic brush model. Uh, you can ignore the target, it's not really necessary uh, in this way, but it will be when I do this, it would do some scripting and stuff. Uh, but you can basically say, look, when this is destroyed, I want it to play an FX, which is ridiculous car explosion effects we're using. You can pick any FX that's here. I don't think we have enough FX. Uh, I hope they give us more FX, because uh, I feel really limited. I've always got to make a boatload. You could get it to play a sound. If you've got an alias set up, you could call that alias sound in there. Or if you know the stock ones, you could use one of those. Uh, friction, health, and mass. Now they're, they're really important. See, friction would dictate how it, how, you know, well, friction is obvious. If the more higher the friction number, the more likely it is not to move very far uh, against other objects. The higher the mass, well, it's going to be heavier, so therefore it's going to be weighted to the ground or it's going to drop to the ground a lot quicker. Um, so if you had an object you didn't actually want to move, but you wanted it to be destroyable, uh, but you were worried that it would start moving with a grenade, whack the mass to about 5,000, it isn't going to go anywhere. The health, well, this 50, that's why it took three shots. This only takes one shot, the health's one. You can play with the health to your heart's content. You can make it really difficult to destroy. Obviously, as I said, the downside is when you have these, um, they aren't clipped. So you'd have to do some sort of scripting to make that work. So if I just draw a brush now, it's a brush. It doesn't do a lot. If we press B for Bravo, we can drop the... Uh, dynamic brush model on top of it and hey press show it's a dynamic brush model so if we select that press end for November we've got all our settings here uh, you can play along and do whatever you want to that brush models easy uh, the other thing I did was my um, uh, window the window is even easier uh, I think I've shown this before I use it in some of my maps but if I press B for Bravo there's a reason why we're going here first um, and if we put glass, and we drop this glass entity in here, uh, that is actually now glass. But we need to give it a texture, so we'd probably pick some sort of glass texture. I generally make them a little bit more dirty glass. Uh, that's the wrong one. Something dirty. Uh, don't want it already broken. It could be that, I guess. It could be that. So uh, the reason I make it a little bit dirty is so you can actually see it. So you can see this has got a bit of a you know a texture tint to it. So you can see the glass in the window frame. 
and then when it destroys it'll start to crack until you've destroyed it enough and then you'll see the shatter effects that's just by having that in so that is now a breakable glass uh, object and I'll drag that out of the way uh, we then have uh, a blind now the blind is not using physics if it was using physics um, it, it could fly off and um, we don't really want it to go off so we leave it there uh, we then have the destroyed model version so obviously I've looked for that what was over there and when you when I was playing a uh, destroyed version of that blind uh, and when it gets destroyed I've told it to create some dust wind effects that will play and go away it's got some health uh, I've left the mass on 10 it can be whatever you want uh, it's not going to really make much difference because we're not using physics in this but it will be destructible at least but then we've got, you know, I've got a bit crazy with models here. Uh, so I've got this broken tile here. So I'm going to just copy that. And I'm going to press, I'm going to start highlighting some random tiles. And I can press B for Bravo. And we're going to make these into dynamic models. And we're going to press N for November. They should all be selected. I'm going to stick that in there. So those will now break. Uh, I'm not going to have any sound on it, I, I don't think I need sound. Uh, do you know what, I'm going to make this fairly easy to break, so I've got a health of 10. Um, we can use physics, that means they may fly around, that's absolutely fine. Uh, so we're going to save that. Uh, so those are going to break. We could do the same for, a, say, a roof tile. So we could do, let's just do a few roof tiles here. Drop that on there. Um, I don't know what the dynamic roof tile is, so we need to find that. So we're looking for hopefully there's a dynamic roof tile for this. You could do brush mold. I'm, I mean, I'm beginning to think that we're probably going to reach limits of the engine if we put too many uh, broken and dynamic objects in here. I'm not entirely sure sure what it is, but uh, what the hell? Uh, oh, there is a damage one. Excellent. So there we go. Bit of dynamic stuff going on there. And there we go. So we're, we're going to do a bit of damage to this room. So we've saved it. We can come out of that there. We're going to compile. We're going to link. And uh, again, we can just sing along to ourselves at this point in time. And it hopefully it won't take too long. It's just a little test map after all. Uh, it's winging away at the sounds. Don't know how many sounds I've got in here. Hopefully not too many. Uh, I'm making this fairly fast, but you know you can keep pausing it. You know uh, you can turn my voice off if you really want. I don't know why I'd want to. I think my voice is great. Um, yes, but I don't sing. Remember, we do not sing. We drink alcohol. We can swear. We can do all that, but we don't sing. Oh, come on! It's the first of December. Uh, if you celebrate Christmas, Christmas is coming up soon. If you don't celebrate Christmas, well, I hope you do something nice for the uh, holidays anyway. And we're nearly there. Start unticking these. Get ready to run. Let's run it. So hopefully this is going to work. It'll probably all go horribly wrong or something, but who knows? Um, I've seen a lot of people making maps, and I see what they're doing. I think, oh, there's some really nice corridors, and then they start doing these uh, destroyed roofs, and I always think, well. You know, uh, your ceilings, say they've got all the wires and all the pipes exposed. But wouldn't it be really nice if they had all those wires and pipes exposed, but they were, you know, below the, above the tiles, you know, the roof tiles. So you create some destructible roof, let it all flow away, and then people see all your wonder beneath it. You know, give it a bit more depth and feeling, put some effort in. Yeah, that's my thoughts on it, anyway. Uh, let's go over here. So we're, we'll, wing a, we'll wing a grenade into here. Why can't I throw a grenade? There we go. So hopefully uh, a few things start to destroy. There we go. Some tiles have flown off. Do you know what? That's looking a lot nicer. Look at that. Random tiles have come away. Um, here's one of the tiles. See, they do move because they've got physics. Might be a bit silly on tile tiles, but hey, what the heck. Um... We haven't really destroyed a roof, but I've got a feeling I'm going to need a stronger gun. All those tiles are flying all over the place. Oh, there's a roof tile. Oh, there they go, they've fallen down. I'm quite happy with that. That works quite well, I think. Ow! Leave me alone. Pesky little zombie. Uh, let's grab a uh, shotgun. 
Not enough money? What? There we go. If you let me buy the damn thing. Right. This tile's bothering me. It's not come down. It's going to stay up there, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's probably how I've designed it. But anyway, you get the point. Destructible stuff. Make your map look nice. Doesn't this look a lot nicer? You don't have to draw all this with brushes. You've plonked a load of um, tiles down. But even if you did do it with brushes, you could draw the brushes to shape. Or you could make really complicated brushes and bits that fall, fall off. Go away. So you could take your tile, you could make it into three or four pieces or lots of different sets. Make them all dynamic so little bits fly off so they don't all come off in big chunks like these. Uh, but I want to see from you guys now some real nice destructible elements to your maps and corridors. Uh, this has not taken me long to done to, uh, to, done, to do. Uh, this probably took me about eight minutes to have a think of what I was going to do and draw it and put it in a map and it works. You know, it, it's no, probably not even eight minutes to be honest, I'm over, over egging that. This is not hard work for you guys. Go off and uh, make it good. Cheers guys, bye.